she walks by on a side for so Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Heather by Conan Gray on the ukulele. Today I have my soprano ukulele. This song is actually really easy on the ukulele, so I hope you guys enjoy and yeah. Hi, I just wanted to mention that I'm going to have the strumming pattern, the chords, and the lyrics all in the description, so it's going to be a lot easier to follow along with the tutorial. Okay. So there's only going to be five chords to this song, C, E minor, A minor, F major 7, and F minor. If you guys do know these five chords, you can skip to this time, but if you don't know it, I'll teach you guys right now. So the first chord is C, and that's really simple. All you have to do is put your ring finger on the first string of the third fret, and it sounds something like this. The second chord is gonna be E minor. E minor, you put your index finger on the first string of the second fret, put your middle finger on the second string of the third fret, and put your ring finger on the third string of the fourth fret. Looks like that. And it sounds like this. The third chord is A minor. It's really simple. All you have to do is put your middle finger on the fourth string of the second fret, like that and it sounds like this. The fourth chord is probably the hardest chord throughout this whole song, but once you keep practicing, it'll get super easy. Um, but all you have to do is put your, it's a bar chord. You're gonna put your index finger across all four strings of the fifth fret. And you know it's the fifth fret because most ukuleles have this mark right here on the fifth fret. So you're going to put your whole index finger on here. And I put my middle finger on top of my index finger as like a support. So all the strings play out more and this, it sounds like um, louder. And you're going to put your, and you're going to put your pinky on the first string of the seventh fret. This might be a little hard, but I promise if you keep practicing, it'll get so much easier. This is an F major 7, and it sounds like this. And the last final chord is your F minor. So F minor, you put your index finger on the 4th string of the 1st fret, put your middle finger on the 2nd string of the 1st fret, and put your pinky on the 1st string of the 3rd fret. And it looks like that. And it sounds like this. Yeah, those are all the five chords to the song. Let me play it again all once through. C, E minor, A minor, F major 7, and F minor. And yeah, those are all the five chords to this whole song. Now that we got all the chords, let's talk about the strumming pattern. So the strumming pattern um, basically stays the same throughout the whole song, except there's some minor changes um, depending on which chord you play. So the strumming pattern is going to be down, up, 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 down, up. So let's do C first. Down, up, 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 down, up. And then you switch to the next chord, which is E minor. Down, up, 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 and then switch to the next chord, A minor. Down, up, 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 down, up. Switch to F major 7. But, like I said before, the strumming pattern stays the same, except there's some minor changes. So for F major 7 and F minor, the strumming pattern is, is going to be cut shorter. So it's just going to be down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So it's just going to be cut a little shorter. And it sounds like this. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then F minor is the same shortened version of the um, strumming pattern. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So for the chords C, E minor, and A minor, the strumming pattern is going to be down, up, 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 down, up. But for the last two chords of 
F major seven and F minor, the strumming pattern is going to be shortened to down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And actually, for the F minor, if you guys want, you can just strum it. You don't have to go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. You can actually just strum it down once if you want. Now I'm going to play the strumming pattern with all the chords. And I'm going to have the chords right here so you guys know what chord I'm playing. Like I said, you guys can just go like that if you want. Let me sing the intro for you guys um, really quick with the strumming pattern and the chords. I still remember the third of December, me and your sweater. You said it looked better on me than it did you, only if you knew how much I liked you. But I But I watched your eyes as she... And then you do the exact same thing for the first verse. Um, I'll still play it out for you guys. So, as she walks by, what a sight for sore eyes. Light up the night blue sky. She's got you. That time I just strummed it once. So you can either do down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, or you can just strum it once, like I said, um, whatever floats your boat, whatever you feel most comfortable with, um, and whatever one you like better. And yeah, you just keep doing the exact same thing for the pre chorus, chorus, and literally throughout the whole song. You just use the same strumming patterns and chords. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was easy to um, understand. Like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Also, I have a cover up of Heather. It's the video before this one. Um, it'd mean a lot if you guys checked it out. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!